subtracting real numbers. We talked about adding real numbers, now we're going to subtract real numbers. Subtraction means to add the opposite. So the opposite of a number is also called the additive inverse. That's a term that you're going to need to know. So the additive inverse of 7 is negative 7. That just means that it's the opposite. So for example, if I were to go positive 7 spaces, the opposite, if I were to go in the opposite direction, negative 7 spaces, that would put me back at 0. So they kind of undo each other. All right, so let's find the additive inverses of some numbers. What is the additive inverse of negative 8? It's just the opposite, so it would be positive 8. Okay, what is the additive inverse of 2 thirds? 2 thirds is positive, so the additive inverse would be negative 2 thirds. Which number on the number line doesn't have an additive inverse? Zero, because there's no uh, negative zero. When adding or subtracting, we don't want to have more than one sign in a row. So if we have two signs that are touching, we need to combine them to make them one sign. If the signs are the same, then it becomes a plus sign. If the signs are different, then it becomes a minus sign. For example, if we have 5 minus negative 3, those signs are the same, so it becomes a plus sign. Negative 5 minus negative 3, those two signs are the same, so it becomes a plus sign. It doesn't change the sign of the number in front. It's just the two signs that are touching. 5 plus negative 3, this time the signs are different, a plus and a minus, so that becomes minus. Okay, so if we want to rewrite each of these expressions, when we see two signs touching, we need to change it to one sign. So this, these are the same, so that would become 4 plus 1. These are different, so that would become 4 minus 1. In algebra, the operation symbol in front of the number is also the sign of the number. So what I mean by that is, if we look at these numbers, if you want to know what the sign of the number is, this is a positive one, and this is a negative one. So the operation symbol is the same as the sign of the number. Okay, so let's apply um, what we've just learned. Number one, um, 6 minus a negative 2. So always change the signs. If we have two signs touching, change it to one sign. So these signs are the same, so that becomes a plus. So that's just 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. And remember, um, if the signs are the same, so I can rewrite this. This is the same as 6 plus 2. So if the signs are the same, we add and use the sign of the bigger number. Okay, change these two signs that are touching to a single sign. They're the same, so it's a plus. So this would be negative 6 plus 2. This time my signs are different, so I'm going to subtract. And I would get 4. If I take away 2 from 6, I get 4. But my answer should be negative because the bigger number is negative. There's not two signs touching in number 3, so we just work this out. What is 6 minus 2? 6 minus 2 is 4. Number four, there's not two signs touching, so we just work this out. Two minus six. Okay, my signs are different. My two is positive, my six is negative, so I subtract and I just get four. But this time my four is going to be negative because the bigger number is negative. Okay, number five, I see this spot right here where there's two signs touching, so we need to change that to a plus sign. So that gives me negative six minus two plus three. Okay, so let's go from left to right. Negative 6 minus 2. The signs are the same, so we add, and I use the sign of the bigger number, so that's negative 8 plus 3. Now my signs are different, so I subtract, and I get 5, but it should be negative 5 because my bigger number was negative. 
Okay, and number six, I'm going to combine these two signs that are touching, and it's a plus because the signs are the same. So that gives me a negative 1.5 plus 3.2. So that's a negative 1.5 and a positive 3.2. So I'm going to be subtracting, and since I have decimals, let me stack them on top of each other. All right, so that would be 3.2 and a negative 1.5. Okay, so again, I'm subtracting because my signs are different. Let me borrow to make this 12. That's 2, so I would get 7. Bring down my decimal, and 2 minus 1 is 1. Should it be positive or negative? Positive, because my bigger number is positive. Okay, for number 7, um, remember if we are dealing with... Uh, fractions and we're adding or subtracting, we have to have a common denominator, which we do in this case. So once we have a common denominator, that's the, de the denominator in my answer. This is a negative 8 and a negative 2. So my signs are the same, so I would be adding. 8 and 2 is 10, but it should be negative. Can that be reduced? Yes, that would reduce to negative 2. Okay, for number 8, we don't have a common denominator, so let's find one. What's the least common denominator between 5 and 4? 20. So to get 20 from 5, I need to multiply by 4, and I have to do the same thing to the numerator. And to get 20 from 4, I need to multiply times 5. Okay, so that would give me 4 over 20 minus 15 over 20. So we know the denominator in my answer is 20. And <clears throat> 4 and negative 15, the signs are different, so I would subtract. That gives me 11, but since my bigger number is negative, it's a negative 11 over 20. And that will not reduce, so we're done with that. Okay, number 9. Let's combine any signs that are the same and make them one sign. Okay, so negative and negative, those are the same, so that becomes plus. Positive and negative, that's different, so it's minus. So we have negative 10 plus 10. Minus 10 plus 10. Okay, a negative 10 plus 10, that would be 0. So that just goes away. And then another negative 10 plus 10, that's also 0. All right, number 10 and number 11, it gets a little tricky when we're subtracting using words because it's very important that we put our numbers in the right order or we'll get the wrong sign for our answer. Number 10 says subtract negative 5 from 15. Okay, so we're going to take away negative 5 from 15. So if we're subtracting from 15, we have to start out with 15 and then subtract negative 5. So that's subtracting negative 5 from 15. All right, we have two signs touching, so we need to change that. A negative and a negative, that'd be plus five, uh, 15 plus 5 is 20. Okay, and then number 11 says decrease 3 by 7. So this time we're starting with the 3, and we're going to decrease it by 7. So that's how that would be written out. Now, 3 minus 7, a positive 3 and a negative 7, the signs are different, so we subtract and we get 4. And the sign should be negative because my bigger number is negative.